Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to bring you in on this uh, project here that I'm working on. This is a uh, 1972 Lincoln SA200. Um, I'm pretty excited about this project. Picked this one up at auction on uh, here a while back for uh, 750 or 800 bucks. I can't remember something like that. Engine runs freaking great. I mean, the engine is just phenomenal. Really excited about that. Um, they said it was producing 110 power, did not have any power um, at the weld um, for welding purposes. So, um, trying to get that hashed out, um, trying to go through the steps to test everything and make sure, uh, just kind of get narrowed down what our problem is. I'm hoping that the circuit just needs to be flashed again to kind of re-energize it. They said that this unit here just never really got used pretty rarely, so I'm hoping that's the issue. But I'm still working through that. I'm trying to, it's it's a big learning curve because there's a lot of things to learn on something like this. So, um, I did go ahead and put in a, a new outlet, and I'm trying to get it set up for a uh, remote. Um, pretty excited about that. That'll be a really handy feature to have. Um, unfortunately, the wiring diagram that they provided um, with the uh, remote kit uh, still leaves me a little bit confused as to what's going on and what I need to do. So I'm uh, working through that, um, slow but sure. Wiring's not really my thing, guys, so um, it takes me a long time to figure it out, I admit. Um, I did see this here. Um, I seen this really nasty arc mark across the uh, fine, fine rheostat adjustment. I do have a new rheostat um, on hand. I'm going to wait to change that out until I can uh, do some actual test welds with it. And if there's something else wrong, I don't want to burn up a brand new rheostat. So we're going to leave this guy on um, for a while until we can kind of see. Maybe somebody might have an idea as to what would have caused that um, type of issue. You can see that that lines up pretty dang nicely with that one. So I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Um, but if anybody has some ideas, that'd be... Um, some great knowledge to have. Um, really excited about this project. This is a, a big step forward in my uh, quest for uh, doing some pipe welding and stuff like that. Just kind of wanted to try it out and I really want to get out there and do it. So you gotta have, uh, gotta have a good machine and from all accounts these are pretty damn solid machines. So really excited to have one in my possession. Um, so it goes along pretty nicely with the uh, with the little Lincoln over here. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to sell that one. Um, uh, good machine there, too. I, you guys remember the uh, restoration project on that one. That one took me a long time, too. A um, lot smaller machine, but boy, howdy, that, that's a runner, too. Good machine. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll try to keep you updated, and I'll see you in the next video.